Jessica ate two slices of cake, and Nadia ate four slices. If Jessica ate one fourth of the cake, what fraction of the cake was eaten? What fraction of the cake was eaten? So what we're going to have to figure out the fraction of the cake is eaten is number eaten, number of eaten over total number of slices. Total slices. So we actually do know the number eaten. Jessica ate two, Nadia ate four. So together they ate six slices. So the number eaten is going to be two plus four is six. Six slices eaten, and now we have to figure out the total slices. Well, they tell us that Jessica ate two slices of the cake, and those two slices are one fourth of the cake. So let me think of it this way. The fraction Jessica ate, so the two slices, two slices over the total slices, so over the total slices, over the total slices, is going to be equal to one fourth. So whatever the to two divided by whatever the total number was is equal to one fourth. And so there's a bunch of ways you can do this. One way is we can cross multiply. Four times two slices is going to be equal to eight slices. Eight slices, I'm multiplying the four times the two, cross multiplying, is going to be equal to the total times one, is going to be equal to the total. So we have eight slices in total. And that makes sense. Two over eight, two over eight is the same thing as one fourth. Two slices is exactly one fourth of eight slices. So our total slices are eight. So the fraction of the cake that was eaten, six eighths. But we can simplify this even more. Both the numerator and the denominator is divisible by two. So let's divide them both by two and get it into lowest terms. Six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. So four, oh, sorry, three fourths of the cake was eaten.